Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark, I'm your host, and on today's how-to, we're gonna show you how you can replace a worm gearbox with a very cool Hera unit from Hub City and helping us out First time he's ever been on the show, so let's be nice to him, Keith Sandlin from Hub City. Hey, Keith, you, welcome, Tom? man. How you doing? Doing well. How about yourself? I am good. I am excited because uh, you know when we have stuff on the show that helps save money, people like that. Uh, more torque, more efficiency. Mm -hmm. I like that as well. I know you're going to like this as well. So let's talk first about Hub City's hair features, and then we can go into our demo. Would love to, Tom. The hair offers a no-hassle bolt-in replacement to your standard worm speed reducer. It's got up to twice the torque, mm -hmm. and it's 90 percent efficient across all ratios. So what that does for the plant maintenance personnel, it reduces downtime because it lasts longer. They're available in cast iron and in stainless steel units, and you can find them at your local Motion Industries Distribution Center. Can I get one in a mauve? Absolutely. Whatever you it. need. You see, that's what's so important is if you can get this in different colors because mm -hmm. if it doesn't match, my wife is going to have me. All right, before we get started, let's put on our PPE because that's always important. Make sure you got on the proper personal protective equipment, otherwise known as PPE for whatever job you're doing for. Now, we have the option of gloves. We're not going to put it on, but you might want to do it because I know there's a shaft and some grease involved. You want to keep your hands clean, right? Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, while we're doing this, we will keep on our glasses. Keith, it's all up to you. How do I select a hair unit, man? Well, Tom, you can select the hair in a couple of ways. One is by the application parameters. And what I mean by that is your input horsepower, your ratio, your service factor, or your application torque. Another way, you can simply interchange an existing worm gear drive by our interchange charts that's available. We like also that. offer a nice app that's available on iOS and Android devices. Okay, well, once I've made a selection, well then, what do I do? Well, let me tell you a little bit about this worm speed reducer. This is a 3.25 center distance worm speed reducer. Okay. It rates around 2,600 inch pounds of output torque. Okay. This Hera 45 that you will replace it with also rates 2,600 inch pounds of torque. But Tom, notice the difference in the physical size and right. the weight of this gearbox versus this worm speed reducer. Okay, it is smaller. It, oh, wow, that is. So you're saying this little gearbox can do the same thing? as this one over here. The Hera does the same as that one. Absolutely. Tom, the Hera is very power dense. And what I mean by that is, inside there are helical and hypoid gearing. Mm -hmm. And it allows us to put more torque in a smaller package. Okay, now when people start talking about that, they're like, well, what about heat? Is it going to be cooler? What's the difference in temperature? Great question. In all of our tests out in the field, the Hera runs on average of 50 degrees Fahrenheit cooler than standard worm gear units. Yeah, that, 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 that keeps it a whole lot cooler. Okay, now, um, I need to be able to install this without redrilling or modifying my machine. Now, how is that possible? Because I don't want to go through that hassle. You remember I mentioned center distance? Right. All worm speed reducers classify their worm speed reducers by center distances, and okay. along with those center distances come standard parameters. Okay. All right. Now, what would those be? Well, first off would be base to center height, and what I mean by the base of the gearbox to the center of the output shaft. Right. Second main critical dimension is the width and length of the bolt hole patterns, mm -hmm. and then finally the output shaft diameter. Okay, well, I know that's important. Um, I'm really not kind of sure how this is going to work, but I know that if your output shaft, if that doesn't match, then you're going to be in trouble. So how do I raise this up to do that? How, how is the, uh, the Hera unit going to do that? We're going to make it work with two accessory kits, Tom, to make this Hera 45 take the place of the 3.25 center distance worm. Okay. Let me show you. First off, it's a B-base kit, and this is held on simply by four bolts. Mm -hmm. The maintenance man can put this on. And this does a couple of things for us. This gives us the correct height of the output shaft. It raises the gearbox up. Secondly, it allows us to not have to change your bolt hole patterns because it will drop directly into the worm speed ah, reducer. Okay, and, and you can find different size plates depending upon how high or low you need to go. Absolutely. Okay, but what about the output shaft? Because I know that's just as important. Absolutely. We offer a universal shaft kit. Okay. And it's held in by a retaining ring. Gotcha. And you can simply just take it and slide it in, and what this does, it's going to give you the correct outside diameter right. and the correct center line length to the output shaft end, which is going to fit in the same envelope as your worm speed reducer. So it's going to be that easy? It's really that easy, Tom, to replace an inefficient worm speed reducer with a Hera. Remember, the Hera is going to give you 90% efficiency across all ratios. It's going to have more torque per size, and the main thing is it's going to last longer than that worm speed reducer. You're saving me money. Yes. People are going to love you. Keith, thank you so much. We appreciate your time here today. Keith Sandlin, he is with Hub City. Uh, we were talking about the Hera units today. What a great little machine. You need to contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location representative. Talk to them about this and say, hey, 
I saw Keith on one of the MI How To videos, and I want to know more about this, and he'll make sure that uh, you get the right information. Uh, also, you saw we were wearing our PPE. Make sure that you're wearing the right PPE for whatever the job calls for. We opted out on the gloves, but you might want to wear that because you don't want to get any grease on your hands uh, when you're dealing with the shaft right there, when you're going to be putting that on your unit. Also, we'd love for you to watch some other MI How To videos, not just this one. And if you want to figure out where to find them, MIHowTo.com. That's our website. And you can, man, you can get just about anything over there. They got the MI How To videos and also Tom's toolboxes as well. But thanks so much for watching today. We'll see you next time. I'm Tom Clark. Take care.